Yoo-hoo, everyone. Morning, morning. It's so nice to be able to speak to you another day. I pray that you had a lovely and restful weekend. And as you prepare to enter into your Monday, that the Lord will go before you this week and he will make the crooked places straight for you because he is well able. So this morning, God has given me a word for us in the form of our daily dosage of one a day that, you guess right, builds up our immune system and definitely will kickstart our day today. So yesterday in the early morning, so the days are longer. So by five o'clock or thereabout, it's starting to get bright outside. So early in the morning, I went out on my run. So when I went out, I went by the shop and outside of the shop was a sign that says cash machine here. Now, if I don't have money in the bank or if I don't have a card, then I cannot go in and expect to get money out of that machine, right? So it is with us as the Holy Spirit started speaking to me. Without faith, we cannot extract the promises that are in the word of God. Do you have faith? Let's pray. Father in heaven, I bless your name. I thank you for waking us up in our right frame of mind to see a brand new day. A lot of us would have preferred to be waking up in more favorable condition or position that we're in right now. But God, as long as there is life, there is hope. So we thank you for this brand new day. I thank you for everyone that is listening into my voice this morning. I thank you for the plans and come in agreement with the plans that you have for us all. Father, You have given us the currency of faith, faith in the word of God. Not only have you given us the currency, you've made it so obvious where you've given us experience. You've given us the evidence that faith works, dear Lord. And a lot of God's people, we are in a state of desperation. But you've given us faith that is in the word of God. So all we need to do is to bring our faith to you, dear Lord Jesus, in the word of God. And that is what will unlock, that will tear down Jericho wall, that will open up the floodgates of heaven and pour out a blessing and cause that dead situation to come back to life. Father, today, empower us. Father, do something supernaturally powerful to this word this morning so that ears will be open to hear, hearts will receive this word, and we will have a new pep in our step as we gather up the word of God that is our faith in the word of God and that we will cash in on that faith in the word of God so that we're able to withdraw whatever God has said because all his promises are yea and amen. God's word cannot return for they must achieve that which are they must accomplish that which God has said. So Lord, give us that mustard seed faith that we need so that we can speak to those mountains that are in our life so that they will be cast out into the sea, dear Lord Jesus, and forgotten. Father, we praise you that you have given us all the wealth of this world through faith. All we need to do is to spend and go and cash in and our lives will be different. Bless each person this morning, however, we're waking up and strengthen our faith and our confidence in the word of God because we can trust you. We praise you and thank you for this new day, Lord. Forgive us of our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Put your full spiritual armor upon us because you said that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. This warfare is spiritual and it is only as we are wearing the armor of Christ that we will be able to stand against every wiles of the enemy that will come at us in our workplace, in our community, in our families and wherever we go today. 
I thank you, Lord, and I praise you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So the sign says, cash machine here. A lot of people are struggling financially. But unless you've got the currency, the money that is in your account, and unless you've got a withdrawal card, there is no way that you could go in that that shop and withdraw any money out. If that were the case, where people have the need, they need money. I'm sure that a lot of people would be lined up in front of that sign, waiting for that shop to be open so that they can go in and withdraw. But you must have something in the account in order for you to benefit from the cash point that is there, in order for you to be able to go into that shop and make a withdrawal. So it is with us. God has given us the word of God and it is faith. The faith is the currency that we need, especially in this time that we're living in. Faith in the word of God is what we need in order for us to withdraw the promises that are in the word of God. Faith, I'm going to say this again, faith in the currency that is in the word of God that we need in order to withdraw the promises that are in the word of God. So let's look at some stories in the Bible and then we'll look at some verses to do with faith. So if we go over in the book of Matthew chapter 10. So in Matthew chapter 10, and if we look at Sorry, Matthew chapter 9. My apology. Matthew chapter 9. If we look at verses 27 on to about 31, we find these two blind men. And Jesus was passing through and they needed to receive their sight. So when they finally got to Jesus in verse 29, Lord, please bless the reading and hearing of your word. It says, Then Jesus touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. So what was it that would allow them to see? Along with the touch, it was their faith that will allow them to see. So did they have faith? Let's check. So in verse 30, it says, And their eyes were open. So their eyes were open because they had faith that Jesus touching their eyes was enough in order for their eyes, for their sight to be restored. So faith is a currency that we need to withdraw the promises that are in the word of God. We can also look at the story in Matthew chapter 8 from verse 5. So this is a popular story that we all know of the centurion. So it says in verse 5, And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lieth home sick of the policy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. So listen to this now. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. So what is this that this man is exhibiting? This man is wealthy in what? In faith. How do I know that? Let's continue reading. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, go, and he goeth. And to another, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. And when Jesus heard it, he marveled and said said to them that followed, Verily, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And we know the story that that servant was restored. I say to you today, 
Faith is available. The word of God is there, but it is our faith that will extract the benefit or the word or, or what God has promised in the word of God. The word of God says in Ephesians 2 and verse 8, we are saved by we we by gr- for by grace are he saved by faith. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrew 11 and verse 1. So the word of God continued to say that without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. That's Hebrews 11 and verse 6. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3 and verse 16. Faith is what saves us. When God is saying with his tribe, we are healed. So it is when, if we need healing, if we want deliverance from the spirit of poverty, If we want to have peace in that chaotic situation that is happening in our family, if we want to be delivered from the spirit of oppression that is coming at us in our church, in our workplace, whatever it is that we're seeking Christ for, if we want peace in this in this time that we're living in, whatever your situation in that financial breakthrough that you're going through, it is faith. The promises are there, but it is according to our faith. It is faith in the word of God that brings reality to the promise. If those blind men did not have faith, even though Jesus touched them, they would not have received their sight. Jesus is saying to us, even as we see things looking impossible, we see the mortgage coming in, we see the bills going out, and there is not enough money coming in. It is faith. It is our faith. When we go into the word of God and we use that, God, you said you will supply all my needs according to your riches in glory. God has said it, but it is our faith that will activate the reality of this word. What are you believing God for? What are you hoping? What are you hoping for God to do for you today? God is saying, according to your faith, faith is a currency that will draw the promises of God and make them a reality in your life. So it is with that cash point. It is you having the money in your account, the card and access by having the pin that allow you to go and apply to that cash point and get that money out in order for your whatever situation that you need that money for, in order for that money to come to reality so that you're able to address that situation. God is saying to us, it is not just enough to say that you have faith, but faith must become practical. This centurion, he didn't, he didn't say, Jesus, come and touch. He said, just speak the word and it shall be done. The Bible is filled with God promises, but it is our faith that will extract the reality of the word of God. I pray this morning, whatever you are believing God for, claim God's word and it is according to your faith in the word of God that will make that situation a reality, that will cause that Jordan to to, to part, that will cause that Jericho wall to fall down, that will scatter every arrow of the enemy that is coming at you right now. That is going to lift that spirit of oppression upon you. That is going to break that yoke. That is going to set the captive free. That is going to heal that disease. That is going to raise that dead situation. It is faith in the word of God. How is your faith today? It is impossible to please God without faith. It is impossible to partake of the promises of God without faith. I pray today that by faith you will enter into this day and claim that promise that God has given to you. May God bless you today as you partake of your one a day in Jesus' name.
Amen.